in full and complete armor. Today, deception of the hypocrite. Hypocrites, false playing and false worship make the sweet spirit of the living God angry and cause his fury to break out. The hypocrite intrudes upon the holy worship of the living God. Judas confidently sat down with the rest of the apostles at the Passover and felt as welcome as if he were the holiest guest of them all. <coughs> the proud Pharisee stood in the temple beside the broken-hearted publican. Yet when, like these, pray, they sound to God like wolves howling or dogs barking. David's skillful hand played the harp so peacefully that he soothed Saul's rages. But hypocrites, false playing and false worship make the sweet spirit of God angry and cause his fury to break out against them. The hypocrite mocks God, but God will not be mocked. Jesus illustrated this doctrine when he cursed the fig tree, whose green leaves invited hungry men to find fruit, but sent them away without any. If this tree had lacked the leaves as well as the fruit, it would have escaped Christ's curse. Every lie mocks the person who hears it because the liar makes a fool of him by cheating him of the truth. Delilah asked Samson why he had why he had told her lies as if she had said why are you trying to make a fool of me God's command is that none should appear before him empty but this is just what the hypocrite does and thus mocks God he may come with a full mouth but he has an empty heart. As for the formality of religious service, however, the hypocrite often outdo, outdoes or outdoes or outdoes the sincere Christian of all people, he or she may be called a master of ceremonies because he tries to entertain God with his tongue and knee with only words and outward ceremony yet God looks on the heart if the wine is good a man can drink it from a plain wooden cup but if a goblet is wonderfully gilded but has no wine in it, the host mocks his guest by offering it to him. Thank you for listening and God bless you.